Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to today's episode of how to understand the in-body scanner. For those of you who have an in-body machine at your gym or at your home, it's one of the best and most accurate methods of understanding your body fat percentage using bioelectrical impedance. What does that mean? We're gonna send a small current through the torso all the way around and by holding on to these handheld devices, the monitors will track how fast the current goes through your body based on the fact that water is a better conductor of electricity and lean mass is full of lots of water. So first things first, you're gonna come around here in the corner and have you stand from here so you can see a good view. Okay, and we're gonna log on. So once you're logging on, to open up the administrator code, it's 1420. Now from this position, I'm gonna hop on. See how much I weigh today. Okay, 191, not bad. Now we want to track and we want to find your previous measurement. So we're going to hit input mobile number and we're going to type in my number. And hit enter. And this should find the previous stats you have. Now, if you don't get to the station, guys, make sure you stop and ask one of our staff to help you out because you want to get your previous stats there, okay? I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to have the camera girl hold on to the camera. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the handles. Come around from here so you get a front view. Come around from here. Maybe over my shoulder view. Okay. So you're going to hold on to the handles. Your elbows are nice and wide. It's going to do its thing. It's going to send a small current now through your torso. You won't feel a thing. The current's going to travel faster through lean tissue than it would through fat tissue because lean tissue holds more water. So if you're wondering if this machine, you know, how does it work? Fat tissue doesn't hold as much water. Now, once that we've typed in your age, height, weight, and your sex, all those credentials, it's going to calculate the range and give us a percentage. So there's my percentage right there. So it's 11.8. Now from this position, you want to go print if you do not have the app downloaded on your phone. If so, don't print out the information because it's not going to give you the previous info. And what I mean by that, it's not going to give you your basal metabolic rates and all the other stats. So make sure you go down, you, in, you download in body, get this on your phone, it's super important. Okay, back to the camera girl. Now, I'm going to invite you guys to have a look and see what we got going on here. So if you can look over my shoulder, the first thing you're gonna notice is it's gonna give us segmental body fat analysis, okay? Segmental lean mass. So this is gonna evaluate the amount of muscle tissue in the body and if it's adequately distributed. Now, we wanna make sure that we have 100% or greater. If you have less than 100%, it means there's not enough muscle density in that area. So the first thing we do when we're at doing a consultation is we're gonna look at the difference. So you can tell right there, I'm more upper body dominant, even my core area at 126, um, and my lower body is only at 108, number one, okay? Number two, I want you to pay attention to your basal metabolic rate, guys, because this is your body's engine. If this increases every time you do your in-body scan, that's a good thing. You're building muscle, your metabolism is getting faster. If this decreases, that means you are burning muscle tissue. Lean mass is that picture right there, okay? So lean mass is bones, organ, brain, tissue. To come back to here, you'll notice that my lean mass is 168.9 and my body fat mass is 22.6. This is body fat mass, chicho, okay? So these two numbers together added up are going to equal my 191.5. Now, it's going to give me a percentage of body fat. You'll notice that I was at 13.4 on August the 12th, and now it's August 21st, and I'm down to 11.1. .1. Now, how did that happen? You'll notice that my lean mass went up. Every time you increase in lean mass, you notice your percentage of body fat will drop. If you notice here when I was 10% and I was at 99 pounds of muscle and I dropped down to 97, my percentage went up. Then when I maintained it, again, my percentage went up. I probably gained a bit of body fat. So now I'm back to 11.8%.
So just to understand, skeletal muscle mass is going to be just muscle tissue, slabs of muscle on a table. Lean mass is the picture behind me, which is a breakdown of bones, organ, brain, and tissue. When you're coming back here, you want to make sure, don't pay attention necessarily to this, because that is what the computer is telling you need to do, but based on your genetic type, it may be different. What you want to keep track of is A, do you have any growth or increase in the segmental muscle mass? Do you have a decrease in segmental muscle mass? If so, and you're losing muscle tissue, it's a good sign that either four things are happening. One, you're not lifting heavy enough weights. Two, you're not eating enough protein per pound of body weight you need. Three, you're doing way too much cardio. You're doing way too much HIIT training. Four, you're not sleeping enough, damn it. You're not resting, so your body can't build muscle tissue. The only way it can build muscle tissue is if you're resting, your body can recuperate and build while you sleep, not in the gym. So just to recap, when you're going to be doing this body composition assessment, number one, we're going to look at segmental lean mass. We want to see, are there any changes in this? And if you download the InBody app, you'll see that in the app. If not, you have to keep printing these out. Number two, you want to look at, did you get a lean mass increase? Here it went from 97 to 98. And if you look at, I had 99 pounds. So the highest I had so far since December was 99. And you look at my weight was almost the highest at that time period there. Next, you want to look at basal metabolic rate. Are you improving with your metabolism? If you're not improving with your metabolism, then we can look at making you lift more weight. We can make you get more sleep, definitely increase your protein, and decrease your cardio. Now, you also want to look at body water, okay, guys? Because body water is important. If, for example, you did one body composition today, and your lean mass was at 168.9, and you did it tomorrow after a night of hardcore drinking, eating a lot of food that has high sodium, and you're dehydrated, chances are this number is going to be lower. And if that number is lower, that's another reason why your lean mass went down, because obviously water is inside a muscle, and when you have less muscle, your water drops. If that's the case, your percentage of body fat will increase. Okay? Hope you enjoyed that tip. If you're stuck or have any questions, reach out to me, send me an email, send me a DM through Instagram, any social media followings, or just call the club if you're a member and ask us how to help you out. Remember 1420 is the code to open up in body machine. Try to do these every three weeks. If you're doing them every week, it's too short and body water alone, you'll have um, days where you're higher and lower and it's gonna throw you off. Another really great way to make sure that you're staying on track is to measure yourself, okay? If you're measuring your body and you're measuring your arms, your thighs, your waist, your glutes, you'll notice a change in measurement. And for the ladies out there and for the men, if you're noticing that your thighs for some reason are increasing in size, but your waist is getting smaller and your arms are getting smaller and your neck is getting smaller and your calves are getting smaller, it's an indication that your body, your lower body, has got more fast twitch muscle fibers or is responding to the stimulus of your workout by growing. It could be that your diet is a little bit higher in carbohydrates than it needs, but if your diet is in a caloric deficit and you're noticing you're bulking up in your legs, that's an indication that either you have a more dominant lower body side or we should change your routine to remove some of the load. So instead of doing lunges with heavier weights, do lunges with body weight. So that way you can still do upper body heavier, lower body lighter, burn fat, build muscle, and be happy. Hope you enjoyed that tip. If you feel this has given you any type of service, any type of education, please share with any friends or family that you think you can help. Peace.